What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today, guys, I'm bringing you a brand new video on how to use the PS4 Trainer. So, in this video, I'll be showing you guys what I did to get the PS4 Trainer to work. So, in this demonstration, I use Gods of War. So, I did test this with the US version of Gods of War. But unfortunately, it did not work with the trainer. When I went to try it for the Euro version of the game, everything worked. So you need to make sure that your game region is compatible with the trainer. So first things first, let's go to settings, right? And you need to load mirror plus hand. So use a guy, typical normal stuff, right? 505 and then mirror plus hand. Now, if you get an error message, just load it again. So as you guys can see, mine's is loading. I got the error message. Let it load again. So from here, you guys can see it says you're all set. What you need to do is load mirror plus hand again. So back out, go to settings, right? Use a guide, right? Typical stuff, 505, mirror plus hand. And as you guys can see, it now says awaiting payload. Once you get this screen, you need to stay on this screen, go to your computer, and send the payload from the trainer. Once the payload is sent to the PlayStation 4 and it gets it, then you can back out from this screen. I'm going to go over to my computer and show you guys that I'm sending the payload showing you that the PlayStation got the payload and then I'm going to go in a game which is Gods of War and show you that the trainer is actually working. So bear with me for about one second while I go over to my computer. So what's up everybody I'm back at my computer and as you guys can see in the background it says awaiting payload. So from here what you want to do is send the payload from the ps4 trainer to your playstation 4. now do keep in mind prior to doing this make sure you are connected to the internet and the reason why i'm saying that is because with the new 505 remember you can still be offline and load the exploit even though you're not connected to the internet so many of times I'm not connected to the internet and I try to do it and I forget that I'm offline but I'm still able to use the payload. So I'm going to go over to my computer right now and I'm going to close this out and reopen it for you guys. So right now I'm going to click on the trainer and you'll see old PS4 trainer and update. Anytime I want to run the most current version of the trainer, I click on update. And as you guys can see in the background, it loaded. And first things first, you want to select your version of your firmware that you're on. So I'm on 505. Then you want to put in your IP address. And then you want to send the payload. So I'm going to hit send payload, right? And as you guys can see, my payload was successful. I'm connecting on the PlayStation 4. It was sent. Now, from here, you could do two things. You could just start the game and then load the trainer, or you can just select the trainer and then load the game. I'm going to select the trainer that I want to use. So I want to use Gods of War 4, right? And make sure, like I said to you before, correct version of the game, patch. Do not hit the attach button until you're actually in the game and you're actually playing. So I'm going to switch over right now and I'm going to load Gods of War and it's loading. Just be patient. So like I said to you before, don't hit attach. You're connected. You're good. And then from there, you can apply the cheats. Now, I will say one thing that I noticed with the actual trainer so far they put out a couple of good updates and they added more stuff to the trainer. If you look on the left hand side, they added a couple of games like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn that was just added about a day or two. So from there, I also like that they added, where's the game at? Um, I believe it was Monster Hunter. Yeah, so Monster Hunter, you got Infinity Health, which is very helpful. I like this game. So I want to actually try this out and see how it actually works. It probably works good. 
but it cuts down on grinding so that's why I like it so let me start up the game and it's gonna continue from where I'm left off. I'm just at the beginning so I didn't really do much but it's starting up and you can see in the background give me one second remember I'm, I'm recording this on an Elgato so it's gonna be some delays but it should be fine so what the gods of war right it's loading I'm going to pause the game so from here as you guys can see I don't have anything I don't have no modded uh, relics or anything it's just straight up start the game so I'm going to go back to the trainer and I'm going to now attach and when I attach it popped up on the PlayStation 4 saying that I attached and I'm good to go so now I can load the cheats from the trainer directly into the game so I'm gonna go and turn on max health on I'll turn on unlimited health as you guys can see it's on I don't have to hit attach I should be good now I'm gonna go in the game right and as you can see he should be hitting me and I'm not dying so as you can see right now I'm playing and he's swinging and nothing is really happening Kratos is standing there and I should be good to go so I just got hit and my life went back up so I have the actual cheat working which is good now also I'm gonna pause the game and show you uh, my XP you just click plus and just add as much as you want I would prefer to do this on save wizard because you got to constantly click the damn thing and I'm not with that I would just go and be able to go in here and type in the number and you should be good to go so I'm gonna set it to 45 set XP so if you go back in the game you can see XP is 50 right but if I back out and then back back in it should change the number that I put in so as you can see it's 45 and it's 45 so the trainer is working properly everything is good to go so yeah that's pretty much it on how to get the trainer to work um, like I said before I would advise anyone to download the trainer save it because it's actually useful and I actually want to thank the developer and anybody who contributes to the trainer for doing that it just makes this a all-around tool to go to and I actually enjoy using it so I'll give this trainer off the jump so far a five star keep doing what you guys are doing it helps a lot of people out yeah you should get it at the end of the day better to have it and don't need it but need it but don't have it so get it so that's pretty much it for this video as you guys can see for the ps4 trainer so as always it's mr you know who from xmr gaming check out my gaming channel thank you guys for supporting my channel and peace